Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica on our long-running series, Unported Playlist, where we take a look at some of my favorite unported arcade games of all time. And today we're taking a look at Tinkle Pit, released by Namco in 1993. And Tinkle Pit is a very weird name, but it is an awesome puzzle game. Before we get too far involved, if you could do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, ring that notification bell, it really helps us out. And if you feel so inclined, we have a Patreon link down there as well if you want to support the channel. And this is a game that I debated even putting in this series because I feel like some genres of games just don't do really well in views, but I don't do the channel just to get views, so why not? Because I do love a good puzzle game. You know, Puzzle Bobble, you know, Neo Bomberman on the MVS, things like that are really enjoyable to me. And Tinkle Pit is in that same genre of arcade puzzle games that can become quite addicting. It is just a fun experience, even if, you know, as far as the games that I cover on this playlist are concerned, it isn't anywhere near as, you know, action-oriented or in-depth as some of the other ones. But the basic mechanic here, if you can't tell already, is you have this ball, this bell attached to this rope behind you, and you need to let that rope out into the stage and then to get the enemies over the rope so that when you release the rope button, that bell is going to shoot forward and it's going to kill the enemies as you're going by. It has some definite bubble bobble vibes, even though this is obviously made 100% by Namco, but they're using a lot of the sprites and characters from games in different series from them. So if you're a fan of any Namco game, you're definitely going to recognize a lot of the enemies you're facing. And that's a lot of fun. It kind of feels like a greatest hits enemies version of a Namco game. And I will say that in the early stages, it's relatively easy. But as you get further into this game, being able to clear a board becomes quite difficult. And you'll see there, one of the enemies did get away, and if you leave one enemy on the board unhit, they're going to try to avoid you, and they're going to try to escape before you can kill them. And that's going to make your score not be as good. And you'll see I took my first death there, and it has definitely like a Pac-Man vibe to it too, because you need to worry about spatial awareness of where those enemies are, because as you see there, I just got trapped, and it's really easy to do. So you need to really predict the way each enemy moves, and they all have different movement patterns that you're going to learn as you play the game and you can get that little fireball power up as well and you can take out enemies in that manner but getting all the collectibles on a screen while also clearing all the enemies while also maintaining all that spatial awareness becomes quite difficult and it really does become addicting because you want to continue to play each board you want to see where it goes next and that's why I decided to leave it on unported playlist even if I think this might not do as well as other videos because puzzle games in the arcade are a big genre there's tons of them and they're usually really big hits on arcade floors they do a lot of sales you know, a lot of quarters get pumped into them because if you don't feel like playing a fighting game or a beat-em-up or a shooting game but you do want to enjoy yourself these are a really nice break from some of those action-oriented games and like I said, they can be as much fun, if not more, at least to me, because I love a good puzzle game, Bubble Bobble, Bubble Symphony, Bubble Memories, Tinkle Pit. They're all very similar. This game even has a little bit of a, you know, not Rainbow Island, but Parasol Stars vibe to it. And that's why I enjoy it so much, because, you know, playing games, I definitely need a break sometimes. If I play something like Bloodborne and beat it a couple years ago, the next game I play needs to be something a little more lighthearted and a little more fun. So in between playing something like, you know, The House of the Dead or Evil Knight or any of the beat-em-ups on this playlist, I like a palette refresher like Tinkle Pit because it is still challenging, it's still fun, but it's colorful, it's bright, it makes you feel happy. And that's something we need to remember about, you know, the arcade genre is that there are a lot of different subgenres in games. You don't just need to be playing a light gun game or a beat em up game or a driving game. Puzzle is a big deal. What I'll let you do is watch this a little bit and listen to the soundtrack because it's definitely cutesy, but it's really good and I enjoy it. And I'll be back in about a minute and we'll talk a little bit more about Tinkle Pit, but enjoy. <laughs>
So I think you've heard the soundtrack. What I really want to say is sometimes these games are some of my favorite to collect as far as PCBs are concerned because the replayability is almost infinite because the enemies move in different patterns depending on how you're moving around the board. So each playthrough is going to be different. And I do have a lot of arcade boards in my collection that I love and treasure and would never get rid of. But once you've beaten the game once, you're going to get basically the same experience every time you play it maybe you'll get a better high score or maybe you know you put it on hard mode and it'll be a little bit more difficult but with a lot of the games i've showed like beat em ups like light gun games you can't continually play them over and over again because eventually they just do get a little dull and you want something different and that's why collecting puzzle games for arcade boards is a fun exercise because you can put this in a cabinet and you can really play for a couple hours you know once a week twice a week and you're going to get a new experience and it's going to be fun I even like the boss battles here where you have this giant what looks like a cat robot shooting lightning bolts out as the floor breaks away. The developers at Namco definitely added a lot of components into these boss battles. Not only now are you managing the smaller enemies, you're trying to hit the boss while also not fall through the floor. And for a game that looks so cute and simple, it is actually very complex and it gets really deep and we're just showing you the beginning of the game. It'll take like 35-45 minutes to beat this game in a sitting and I'd love to see someone try to do like a one credit continue clear of this game because that would just be absolutely epic. As far as how many quarters you're going to spend on it, if you've seen it in an arcade, that's just completely up to you how long you want to play it. For me, I'd probably pump five, ten dollars in it just to keep checking it out. For you, maybe it's going to be a ten minute diversion from what you were playing before. But if you enjoy puzzle games, if you're looking for something a little bit more lighthearted and fun to play in between a light gun game or a beat em up, I highly recommend Tinkle Pit. But I'm curious, have you guys ever heard of this game? Have you ever played it? Leave me a comment down below and tell me, you know, if you ever saw it in arcades, because this is a game that I never actually saw a cabinet for. I've only ever played this on emulation, and that's one of those things. I don't know how popular this game was back in the day. But I even love these little cutscenes you get in between levels. It's just a little story. It's fun. You get that dinosaur from Namco hopping out there, and then you get what looks like almost a satanic pentagram scene. You know, the story is there. It's like any arcade game. It's not deep, but that's what you get. But short of that, that's Tinkle Pet. Leave me a question or comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. But otherwise, like I said, if you could do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, ring that notification bell. Definitely helps us out. But we will be back next Sunday with our episode in our unported arcade game playlist. And we'll have videos on Tuesday and Friday as well. Short of that, bye-bye.